Hey, what's up, everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, it's time for an update, so let's get to it. So before we get into the um, update this week, I just want to say that Danny from Coral Lust is having a subscriber contest. So head over to Danny's channel and make sure you submit your video. Okay, so let's get on with the update. Uh, some things have changed in the tank as far as coral position. Uh, some rock work has been changed around and also uh, there have been some new additions to the tank. So we might as well just start in the Ophelia Garden first. Uh, starting here on the left side of the two frog spawns, the one from Danny over at Coral Lust and the one from Reefing with Billy Pipes are doing well. They're growing and thickening up quite well. Uh, of course, the torches are growing and expanding. Uh, the top one's feeders are way up top. As you can see, that's the top of my water line. And one of them actually stretches almost to the top of the water. Over here is a new torch that I got from uh, Billy Pipes. When I got it, um, half of the torch was white due to a uh, Zosenfeli bailout most likely. But since that time, it started to come back and gain its color. So hopefully in a few weeks, uh, it'll be back to normal. This gold hammer is from Danny Acorolust again, as soon as my fox face gets out of the way. And it's, I put it over here. Um, it's not so close to the torches where it's gonna get stung or risk getting stung. But I want to get it up, up high in the light so it grows out. It is an Indo hammer, so the Indo corals seem to grow a lot quicker than the Australian variety. And I'm looking forward to see that grow out. Uh, two more hammers over here. This is the smaller one, the one with the green and the blue tips that I've had in the tank all along. What I did is basically trimmed it up and put it on the uh, rock here next to a new addition from Danny, and that's this yellow-green um, hammer colony. Coming down, of course, is my frog spawn, and again, the clowns are hosting it, and it continues to do well, so there's no worries about this one. The reddish-pink mushrooms, the neon mushrooms, I changed from the sand and glued them to this rock because this rock is almost a straight face down. So it's hard to put corals on it, except for in maybe some holes that exist in the rock. But I glued them here with the hope that they would grow down the face. And in the three days that they've been here, they have increased in size dramatically. So I'm hoping that also that they grow down the rock. Uh, I cut the uh, green coral that looks like it could be a um, an acan or a, a, a scoli of some kind, and you'll see that in a minute. I cut that off of here, so there's no worries about the two touching. The pagoda coral, of course, is still hanging on. Um, if it hangs on here, that's fine. If it starts growing back, then of course the little baby fungia plate's going to have to move, but. Right now, it's holding its own. The fungia plate is doing well and moves around quite a bit. This is the third time I had to move it from this edge all the way back to the middle. And it's kind of staying here. I guess it likes where it is, so we'll see how that grows out. These ca yellow candy canes, I was worried about at one point. On this edge, in about a week ago, it withdrew all the tissue around the polyp and it looked like something was irritating it or something major was going on but what it turned out to be I believe is as you can see how these polyps here have stretched and grown out from the coral that it was going through a growing phase and it just stretched out more so it'll be interesting to see if that happens again and what the result is 
This is the infamous birthday cake uh, coral from Billy Pipes. It's become more orange and is starting to encrust down onto this rock as you can see. So I'm looking forward to this one kind of stretching out on the rock and see how far it will go down. The rainbow cloves are a source of problem. One is this right here. I've noticed these three little bubbles of bubble algae came in on the frag. So eventually what I'm going to do is take them off here and I want to put them on this rock face because I moved the green encrusting Monty to get more light, which it responded to the very next day and started coloring up more green. But when I move the clothes over here, in that process, I will clean that bubble algae off of it. The purple cat's paw is doing well, liking its home here. It's not moving and I'm not moving it, so it's free to encrust right on that rock as you can see these polyps are doing. My red Montipora capricornis is plating up and doing well as usual. The red setosas are filling out. I put them all on this rock here to allow them to fill out and just basically make that one whole rock of setosa. The Jason Fox Barney coral is doing well. It's getting uh, bigger and as you can see here, the feeder tentacles are coming out daily. And at night, once my blues go a little darker, these, the tips will get their feeder, feeders out as well. <clears throat> One of the new corals in the tank is this green, uh, what I believe is a green's bir green bird's nest or um, cat's paw coral. Um, they are in here along with these four Duncans, uh, these four Acans rather, I'm sorry, as a startup for a frag tank that may be coming soon and I'll have more about that later on. In speaking to Danny over at Coral Lust, I found out that this is not a Scully, but it's a Acan Barrow Banky, and it's doing well. As you can see, the colors are coming back. It's gone from a pale orange and yellow to a darker orange and green. So through the course of feeding it and giving it proper light and flow, I'm hopeful that this comes back to full color, as well as that little um, polyp that's coming out of the side starts to grow. And now, actually from looking at that polyp on the, on the camera, the green one in the back may also be uh, the same coral. So it may be a Bower Banky Acan as well. The Acan Garden, is growing. My orange one is filling out more polyps as you can see over here. There's a little baby there and the green one is basically staying with the same amount of polyps but the polyps are, are filling out. The night before Christmas favia I took off the plug along with this favia and put them on rocks to allow them to grow out and crust over it. The purple and gold and green candy canes in the back are starting to fill out. They're also starting to stretch a little bit. So I believe that with the changing of the salt, it's having a positive effect on my tank because these that never were growing and just staying the way they are, are starting to spread out a little bit and show signs of growth. Now the, the Zoa and Pally Garden is doing quite well also. The Worldwide Coral, I, I found out that these Worldwide Coral um, Pallies are called Pandora Pallies, and they like this new rock. I added a rock to it to allow them to stretch out. The other Chaos is doing well, as well as the Rastas, Sunny D's, and Cat's Eyes. And basically this whole section is doing well, filling out, and I'm looking really forward to filling out these gaps and just having one big piece um, to display. The fungia plate I moved over to this side and it responded well to this. So it likes where its new home is and it's uh, filling out a little bit, but not, you know, it's, it's the fungia plate. It just, it just stays the same size. 
So it fills up every once in a while with water, but that's about it. As far as the Hollywood Stunner Chalice, they're growing, they're getting bigger, and they're doing what I want them to do as far as filling out this tower, as well as the purple Digi and the red Digi is doing it as well. So the tower project is going quite well in my eyes. Now the last coral I want to go through is a coral that was given to me by Reefing with Billy Pipes. And that's this one right here. This to me looks like a Wellzo of some kind. Um, there's, there's not a shared wall like an A-can would be, but it's a stunning piece and I'm just, this is going to be basically a centerpiece to my tank. It's taking mysis and it's eating and that is ridiculous. It's orange with green with purple. It's just a stunning, stunning piece of coral and I'm very, very happy that I got this from Billy Pipes. So for that, uh, I'm thankful to him and also uh, you'll see his contact information down in the description. Make sure you uh, go over there and subscribe to him if you haven't already. So, as far as the fish are concerned, you saw the fox face a little while ago. Um, they're doing well. The powder blue tang is getting fatter and, and, and is continuing being the boss of the tank. Uh, my yellow tang is doing well and everybody's doing fine as you can see the clownfish are still hosting this and laying eggs regularly my blue hippo tang behind the rocks is as you can see fatter than ever but and it's showing signs of growth so it's going to come down soon to where I may have to start thinking about getting a bigger tank to allow the tanks to be uh, comfortable. The mollies are hiding in the back and I don't, I could just make out a reflection of one there, but they're doing well. Oh, here's one right here. They're doing well, they're doing their job. They're picking out uh, whatever algae pops up on the glass. They're primarily cleaning the back glass and the tower itself. So I catch them daily doing that, as well as daily they just go after each other. So, okay, uh, that basically is it. Uh, if you like the video, please comment down below. Um, there's gonna be more updates to come, and as always, uh, this is Scott, and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.